we are going to continue with what we're doing in the previous section so let's go ahead and select okay let's see what we have next we have so we've done columns column plus label bar you've done stacked so we are going to do 100% stack so this is interesting what this sh shows is let's say we we select x and y and we go to plot we go to basic 2d and we go to 100% stack so what this is showing is that every column is going to be 100% so now let's look at this let's let's just delete this one and now add this column go to plot go to 100% stack so this is this is just showing percentages so this is going to show that the first one which is one has one and 0 0.5 so it means if you add both is 1.5 and if you have one divided by 1.5 you have about 66.77 so it's just estimated to 67 so one third so this is one third of it and this is two thirds so it's just giving you percentages of that if we add another column let's just make this copy and then this let's just do control v in here paste and let's go in and do stack again plot basic 2d let's go into 100 percent stacked now you have 50 25 25 and you can go in and edit let's say this section you can also so you can edit them independently or dependently so if it's dependent it means everything that you do will affect all of it in that way you can add connector lines to them as well you can you can do a whole lot of things with that so instead of bars let's say connect line to all you can do a whole lot of things with that add patterns change spacing so this is also another way of representing your data and if you come to plot you can do same for the bars so this is for columns these are for bars so this is a nice way of representing your data as well and it gives you a legion of and this is um, let me just think of this so maybe you have profit in uh, you've divided the year into three so you have profit in the first third is maybe 50 percent the next third is 25 percent other is 25 percent and this is the best way of representing that you can come in and also edit how these look and all so these are some of the nice things that you can do using bars and columns let's let's take a look at the next one plot basic 2d let's go with floating columns so for floating columns that is also quite interesting you select um, let me just plot and then i'll explain what it means so you come to floating columns now your, your columns are floating which is kind of cool so what this also means is so i plotted these two y's so what that means is you have your x-axis so you have one six eleven here now, but when you come to this axis it just origin just chooses the minimum and the maximum and plots them as a float as a floater so here you have 0 0.5 to 1 here you have 23 to about 46 in at 11 you have all the others in there for you 40 to this point for you so these are like floating bars that you can also use depending on whatever way that you want and you can edit them the same way that we've done if you want to edit them separately you can go ahead and do that 
let's continue to plot and basic 2d and you can also have so these are floating columns that's what we've done you can also have floating bars the last one is vertical drop lines um, let's let's go ahead and select these two again go to plot basic 2d and go to vertical drop line and that is also interesting it's just like stacked let me look at the name again column plot is something like stacked columns but using vertical lines so you have you have let's use six here for illustration so at six you have the black to be 46 and then this to be 23 at 11 you have 41 and you have the red to be so that is that is what you can do so you see the um, legion shows that you have b so your origin b is your black but you can change these you can edit the legion as you want as well you can double click choose independent and and edit each one separately or you can choose dependent and edit as a group so these are some of the nice things that you can illustrate using origin so the final thing i want to show you won't you won't most likely find it here but if you come to this side the draw uh, the 2d toolbar and then you will see the grouped columns indexed data grouped columns indexed data so what you can do with this is also quite interesting maybe you want to group some columns together this is the best way to do it so let's let's try this let's try this let's copy let's just copy this to this side and paste it and now we want to add some text to it so let's call this a a a a a and let's call this b b and let's call this c c and let's call this d d and d and when we come to this side let's call this um, let's call this maybe f f f f and call this g date one g g g and h and h something like this now what you can do is you can select the column right click and then come to set us and go to disregard because you're just adding text right click set as disregard so you see what we are trying to do in here so let's select um, a column and then come to this arrow and choose group column index data so it's selected so once you've selected it so you're going to have something like this but you're grouping the data together so once you select something like this you want to select your, your groups so group one let's choose f which is this one will be our group one and then the next one will be group g and let's just go ahead and hit okay so it gives you because we chose an output to be a new sheet it gives us an output on a new sheet so what this is doing this also can help you to group so let's see what is happening in here what is happening is you have some groups okay so you've grouped a a a a and f f f as one group so this is one group in a and it's showing this bar for them and this is another group so maybe you want to show profits of 
your job with every department so let's say you can have department maybe health yeah what you want to show is that this department health and then you have some subdivision in the health department so you can maybe group this differently so that some of these things overlap but we'll have an exercise that looks like this so watch out for that yeah so this was something else that i wanted to show but our exercise will be around this so we'll do a more practical example or a more meaningful example so that'll be it for columns and bars see you in the next lecture